Hi, I'm Kit from The Kitchen, and this is the last in a series of posts about roast chicken. So once you make roast chicken and you, you eat it and you love it, it's great, um, you are left with bones. And I recommend never throwing them away. Um, you can use it to make stock. And even if you're not planning to make soup right away, um, it's always just great to have because it's so nice to use your own homemade stock when recipes call for it. Uh, it's just so much more flavorful. It's so easy to make. So I have all the bones. I'm actually making a chicken soup, so I wasn't super picky about um, getting all the meat off the bones because that will just make the soup even better. Um, and then I, I had stuffed the chicken with uh, tangerines, lemons, and then there's garlic um, in here too. And I left it right in there. So you take a pot. Okay, I'm actually going to tell you the most important thing. You need two pots. And you take one pot, you put a colander in it, and you put it in your sink first. Because you don't want to accidentally forget the second pot and then throw away your stock and dump it down the drain. You need the colander because you have to strain out all the bones. It kind of um, all falls apart. Okay, so you take that, you throw it in your sink, you put it aside. Then you take all your bones, everything, and just put it in the pot. Okay. I then have already taken um, several carrots and, and pieces of celery and an onion and mixed them together and they're in this pot. So I'm going to take about half of that and just put it right in here. I'm just made, this is a very, very simple stock. It's really easy to make. All right. So, so oh, it's good. So I have about... This was a smaller chicken. This is, about, and I put about, it's about a cup and a half mix. So it's about half a cup of each. Um, white onion, celery, and carrot. All right, so that's all set. And then it's really simple. All you do, add water on top. So you add water on top, and then you just bring it to a low simmer. Um, you want it to be bubbling, steady but low, and you want it to stay like that for about three. About two or three hours. Usually I go for the full three hours. Um, you're filling this with water up until it's about three quarters of the way full. So it's done. All right. Um, and then you know when it's done, you want it to reach a really nice golden brown color. Um, once that happens, you strain it in that pot we just set aside, and then you're good to go. It's really easy. It's great to have on hand, and it really makes the best homemade soups, and I recommend you try it. Uh, for more recipes and cooking tips, you can find me on thekitchen.com.